Did you ever think that you would have 55 million streams, that you would have music with Wiz Khalifa, Megan Trainer? Did you ever think you'd be this big? The first time I made money was like playing gigs that my dad set up with it at his friend's houses, like just for like birthday parties or whatever. I would play the steel drum or the piano. And then I started putting stuff out like 10th grade, like rap, rap stuff out, hip hop stuff. I think I got on like one blog and I was like, all right, like I can do this full time. Like if I can get on this blog, get on all the other blogs. Definitely was way harder than I thought. <laughs> I can't live and not make music. I fell in love with your song called Happy. It actually helped me through a really hard time of mine and oh, yeah. you realize you don't need anybody else to make you happy and it's all in here. Mm -hmm. And I was blasting the song in my friend's house. Mm -hmm. like, you know Kai, that's my friend. And I go, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, what, how do you know him? Want to FaceTime him? I was like, yes. It made my life so I want to say thank you for writing that song. What inspired you to write that song? That was a dope way of meeting. I was like in a relationship that was kind of going south. But at the same time, I was like with these managers that were also taking more energy than they were giving. I felt like I needed to like break free of all of that. And I wrote that song about that and then ended up moving on from both of those relationships. What made you pick up the steel drum? I'm learning the drums right now and so fun. I love the drums. Oh yeah. The steel drum is so unique. How did you come up with that? For one of my dad's birthday parties, we had a Calypso band over. Two of the people who played in the band were like two of my biggest mentors growing up. And PJ Adamson played the steel drum. I went up and talked to him after the party. I was like, Dude, like, what is that? Like, you gotta show me that. <laughs> were you nervous when you were in college at USC? My mom went to USC, so fight on. Um, <laughs> when you decided to end your college career and you wanted to pursue your musical career, that wasn't gonna work out? Staying in school was almost like a safety net. Dropping out was kind of just like, there's no alternative, like I have to make it work. And I fell in love with your trust fall video. What made you come up with that? And how did you find those people that inspire you? My whole life, I was like trying to make music to move other people, highlight other people's talents and how they inspire other people. And that project actually ended up inspiring me more than I think it inspired anybody else. Do you do any manifesting? Do you have a vision board? Or I meditate a lot and I try to journal once or twice a day. I have like a chalkboard that I painted on my desk. A way to track your growth. When you write in your journal every day, you can look like five months ago, that's my mindset. Every morning I write three things I'm grateful for and three things I want to accomplish that day. I think it really helps. Oh, yeah. I was watching some of your old videos and you had some flow going. Where did the flow go? I had it really long and it got kind of annoying and I was at a music video shoot for one of my friends and we took some shots in the trailer and I was like, should I shave my head right now? And then everyone was obviously hyping me up and we played some like heavy metal music. I'd shave like half of it. And then the razor actually, it was a face razor. So it wasn't, wasn't supposed to be used for that. So it broke halfway through. <laughs> so I went home with a half shaved head. I feel like I feel more free without the hair as of now. What's your dream? Hope for your music, your career? Make some sort of change in however many people's lives I can, hopefully for the better always kind of been number one. I think music is just my vehicle of doing that. You can listen to Kai on all streaming platforms and also be on the lookout for his new merchandise coming out soon. This has been Talia Today.